Example A says find the area and perimeter of a rectangle with sides that are 4 centimeters by 9 centimeters. Now because this thing is laid out the long way, I'm going to call the 9 centimeter side our base, since usually things sit on their base. And then we'll call the 4 centimeters the height. So our rectangle here has a B of 9 and an H of 4. And our area formula is just B times H. And our perimeter formula is 2B plus 2H. So to calculate the area, we're going to do B times H, or area equals 9 times 4. That would be 36. And these are centimeters, so our units would be centimeters squared. And then our perimeter, 2B plus 2H, P would be 2 times 9 plus 2 times 4. That's 18 plus 8, or 26. And those are just centimeters, because we're not, again, covering the space with little squares. We're just measuring that distance from the outside edge. All right, example B. Example B says, find the area and perimeter of a square that has sides that are 5 inches. Well, if we have a square, uh, sketch one in here real quick. If we have a square, it's just like a rectangle. In fact, a square is a type of rectangle, but the difference is that all four sides are the same. So if our formula is base times height, if we call this the base and this the height, and this is five units and this is five units, then it really just ends up being for the area, we just have something times itself, right? If, it's, if the area is B times H, then that's just 5 times 5, and the shortcut for 5 times 5 is 5 squared. So really, if we have a, a square instead of a regular rectangle, we can just take one side and square that value to find the area. 5 squared, of course, is 25, and it says that our units are inches, so our area would be 25 inches squared. And then the perimeter, again, with a square, all four sides are the same, so instead of doing 2B plus 2H, we're just going to do 4 times whatever one side is, 4s. And 4 times 5 is 20 inches. All right, next, example C. Example C asks us to find the area and perimeter of a rectangle that has sides that are 13 meters and 12 meters. Yikes, should have a calculator ready for this one, huh? All right, so we have our base, that's 13, and our height, it's 12, so our area is going to be 13 times 12, and that's going to be, I should know 13 times 12 probably being a math teacher, but I'm not thinking of it right now, so that's what calculators are for, 156. 156, and these are meters, so our units would be meters squared. And then perimeter, is 2b plus 2h, so it's 2 times 13 plus 2 times 12. Well, 2 times 13 would be 26, and 2 times 12 would be 24, so that would be a total of 50 meters around the outside edge. And we're done.